This video is going to cover how to share Postman collections. There are a couple of different ways to do that and I'm going to cover all of them today. I start in my version of Postman. I use the native application for Mac. And I'm going to share a collection called Postweather. Uh, this is a variation on a collection I've used in some of the other videos. It takes a, an address, gets the weather for that address, and posts the uh, weather to the Postman community Slack channel. It has three requests, as you can see. The simplest way to share the collection is to share, create a collection link. To go ahead and share it, you would click right here and click on Share. And you can see the three ways to do this, team sharing, embed button, and collection link. I'm going to start with collection link. I haven't shared this collection before, so I'm prompted to go ahead and get a link, which I do, which is right here. So what I can do is copy the link and then send it to whomever I want to share my collection with. I'm going to show you what that does. The person getting the collection would go ahead and post it here. And in this case, because it, I was using the link as though it were not my collection, it pops up and says a collection post weather already exists. So if I was getting an update on this collection from someone, I would go ahead and hit replace. Or if I wanted to just see what the changes were, I might import it as a copy. I'm going to go ahead and import it as a copy so we can see the import. And it shows up right here in my collections list. So I have post weather, and then down here I have the copy. This will be exactly the same. Whenever I update a collection that I've shared with people, I need to update the link. So let's say I made a change to this collection. What I would do is go ahead and share. I want to go to collection link. I would update the link if I had made changes to a collection I had previously shared. The next way to share collections is using the embed button. Once you've created a collection link, you can also share the collection this way. It's called, also called the Run and Postman button, and it's used by lots of teams and API publishers. You can create the button two ways, using um, CSS or a static static button using Markdown. The CSS option works pretty well if you want to add the button to your own website and can edit the code there. The Markdown option works pretty well if you want to add the button to um, a Markdown document like README um, or in your GitHub or Bitbucket Bit repository. This button will connect to the collection link. So again, if you update the collection, you need to update the collection link just as in the prior example. The last way to share collections is through team sharing. This is a feature um, that's available through Postman Cloud, which is Postman's paid product for um, teams. I haven't shared this collection before, so you can see in choosing how to share, I can either share with the entire team or with individuals. I'm going to go ahead and share the entire team so they can view it. I could also set it up so the entire team could edit it as well. I'm going to add individual permissions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just give edit permission to one person to show how that works. And I go ahead and hit share. It says collection has been shared. And then the collection will show up in my team library. Post weather is right here, the one I just created. A little documentation description of that. I can subscribe to other collections that I have access to, and you can see there's view and edit access here. Thanks for listening, and if you have any comments, please do send us an email at help at getpostman.com.